Can AI reply to your emails for you, saving you hours of brain drain every single week? Absolutely. I want to show you exactly how to do that. This is a major AI breakthrough for email management. My coaching clients have been loving it, and today I'm excited to show you how to turn ChatGPT into a powerful tool for inbox automation. Our brains can only handle so much during the day. That's why it's so important we don't waste our limited mental energy on answering emails. Imagine that instead of waking up to a full inbox, you wake up to a list of email drafts that you just need to review and hit send. Well, that's what we're going to be building today. This is going to be especially useful for small businesses who can't keep up with email requests and know that they're leaving money on the table because of it. It's also going to be useful for agencies, digital marketers, and freelancers who are looking to offer AI-related services. There are some major opportunities to make money helping people implement and improve on this, and it can lead to much bigger AI services down the road. But really, this is for anyone who knows that email is taking up way too much of their time and energy, and anyone who dreads opening their cluttered inbox to the feeling of email overload. With a little work, this will not only save you time, but it'll actually improve the quality of your email responses as well. If you're new to the Blazing Zebra channel, I want to welcome you and thank you for joining me on my mission of helping marketers and entrepreneurs around the world. My goal is to provide practical AI skills that'll drive your profitability and business success. If you're enjoying these videos, please consider supporting me on Patreon. There is a link in the description with tons of extra resources, cheat sheets to my videos, coaching options, and a lot more. All right, so this is the second video in my AI. AI Income Blueprint series. I'll put a link in the description to the last video where we created a custom GPT. This video builds on that and gets that custom GPT to respond to email, which is a great stepping stone into some really massive AI skills, whether you're doing this for yourself or you're an agency or a freelancer looking to do this for other people. Today's video is going to be in three steps. We are going to create an open AI assistant from that custom GPT. We're then going to connect that to our email using Zapier. We're going to send those emails that come in to our OpenAI assistant, and then we're going to get uh, a draft of an email from that. From there, we're going to just test and deploy. So here is the custom GPT I created in that last video. This is a chatbot that's trained on the FAQs that I pulled from Stan's Donuts website. Stan's Donuts is a great donut shop in Chicago. I'm not affiliated with them other than I have eaten quite a few of their donuts. And if you're in Chicago, go get a lemon pistachio old fashioned. They are fantastic. Uh, so this bot I created in that last video. And let me just show you under the hood what this looks like. We've got, of course, the graphic that we pulled from their social media, a good SEO friendly name there, a uh, little description. And then the important stuff here are the instructions. If you want to look at how I created these, that's all in that last video. We also have the knowledge base here. So let's take a deeper dive into these instructions. Again, there's more to it, but the basic uh, version of this, you'll act as a representative for whatever the business name is, a renowned donut shop in Chicago. You can replace that with a brief description of whatever business you're representing, or you might put some information about yourself in here. This is the important stuff. You have access to a document called Stan's Donuts Knowledge Base. It includes store information, hours, FAQ, and more. Use this information about Stan's Donuts to answer questions. And do not provide any information that is not related to this knowledge base. So these are the basics of what you need in the instructions from this custom GPT that we built. You want to let it know that it has access to this knowledge base and you want to make sure to put it in all caps that it is only to provide information related to donuts or related to that knowledge base because you don't want these bots getting pulled in all directions answering questions unrelated to uh, whatever you are looking to answer emails about. Now let's take a quick look at that knowledge base that we created in the last video. This was all just copied and pasted from the Stan's Donuts website website has information about their history. They have some great FAQs. So I pulled that information in, has store hours, menu um, information, and basically anything that uh, folks would be asking questions to their email inbox about. If you're creating this for yourself, you might want to just think about creating a quick FAQ about yourself answering questions that you get all the time. Okay, so now that we've run through this custom GPT, let's go ahead and create an assistant in OpenAI's platform. So go to the OpenAI website and log in. It's going to pull you to this page. Click API. Click this little robot here, Assistance and create new. We're going to call this Stan's Donuts Email Responder 
And I like to just put V1 because I know that, you know, typically your first crack at it isn't going to be perfect. So this is the first version. I'm going to grab all these instructions here from the custom GPT, pull them in here. Again, this is the basic instructions that you're going to need. I'll put this in the cheat sheet. The model here, I would select always the most recent model. Right now that's GPT-4 1106 preview. Retrieval, I'm going to turn on so it knows it can retrieve information from the files, from the knowledge base. I have exported that Google Doc into a TXT format. I'll show you how to do that real quick. Here's the Google Doc. Download as plain text. I think that is the easiest for these uh, bots to understand. I'm going to add that right here. Stan's Donuts Knowledge Base. I'm going to click Save. And the assistant has been created. So now we're moving into the second step where we're going to connect this to Zapier. Go to Zapier. Click Login. I believe you might need a paid version of Zapier to do this. I'm not sure about that, but I think so. Now we're logged into Zapier. We're going to create a Zap. We're going to click Trigger. The trigger is going to be a Gmail. Gmail event. Event is new email. Continue. Choose an account. You're going to have to connect this to your Gmail account. And I believe if you're using a different email server, there's options for that as well for probably most of the big ones. Click continue. This is important. The trigger, it should not be, by default, it's going to tell you inbox and all emails. This will be a big problem. Because when you create drafts, it's going to start responding to the drafts and create an infinite loop there. So for sure, you want to click on this and click just inbox. Click continue. Test your trigger. I happen to have an email in the inbox already. And it looks like it is grabbing this email. This email is all about, do you offer catering? So yep, it looks like it's connected. We're looking good here. Going to continue. Now we're moving to this second step, creating an action. Look for ChatGPT. Choose an event. Conversation with assistant. Continue. Going to connect it to your account if you're not connected already to your OpenAI account. Message. I've learned a lot about this. Here is the best action at message. And I'll show you how to add this in a second. But please create a short email. Reply to this email request. And then you're going to select the plain body from your email. And then for sure you want to put in, do not include anything like this. Dear customer in these brackets, because sometimes you may not have the customer name and it creates a format here where it puts these, the customer name in brackets. Um, you don't want that to be created. You're going to have to <laughs> fix that every time. So just trust me, if this doesn't make any sense right now, it will as we go along. Uh, or this, it's going to always try to put this in there and source different um, links to your knowledge base that isn't going to work well in email. So this I'll put in the cheat sheet as well, but this is how you want to format your action message to begin. And the sky's the limit when how you want to tweak this down the road. But this is what's going to be sent to your assistant to get that reply. This is going to be the prompt that goes to the assistant. So you can see it's got, you know, the request. It's going to pull in the body. And then it's got some error handling, basically, is what this is, telling it uh, best ways to format it and things to leave out. So here we are back in the zap. So I'm just copying this first part in. Please create a short email reply with this email request. Short is important as well. Sometimes it'll create very long emails. And then we're going to pull this plain body text in. And next, we're going to add this part that I just went through. I'm going to format this a little better just for my own. OCD. Okay, that's looking pretty good for a very basic message that will go to our assistant. And the rest of this you don't need, oh, you need to select the assistant. So select this Stan's Donut Email Responder that we just created. It should show up there automatically if you're connected to the cor correct OpenAI account. The rest of this you don't need to worry about. It's allowing you to basically create assistant an assistant in here which can be useful down the road, but I think just connecting it to your OpenAI assistant there is the easiest way for now. Click continue and let's give it a test. Click test. It's going to take a second because it's going to your assistant with your test email. Okay, scroll all the way down to the bottom. It says, yes, we most certainly offer catering services. For catered delivery, there's a minimum of a $100 order. So it's pulling this information directly from the knowledge base, the FAQ that we pulled from the website which is great. So this looks like it is working fairly well. So now we want to add another step here and we're going to now create the email draft. So we're going to select Gmail, choose an event, create a draft. The subject, we're going to put RE, so regarding, and then from our 
the original email, we're going to pull the subject line. So it says regarding the subject for our test email was catering question. Two, we're going to select the recipient. So the from email will go there. You can CC folks, you can BCC folks, you can do a lot here. Body, I'm gonna choose plain text. You can get fancy with HTML, etc. And now in the body section, I'm going to select full response. And you can add a signature. There's a lot more you can do here. I encourage you to experiment with this once you get the basics up and running. But for now, I'm just gonna click continue and I'm gonna test this step. So we'll see if a draft is created. It says a draft is created. Let's check it here in my drafts folder. Let's pull this up and we can see it says yes regarding your catering question. It has the right response email. It says regarding your catering question and it has that perfect response. It looks like it did not catch our request to not include this source documentation here that it tries to include. So maybe that's something you can work on. I'm sure with a little back and forth at the various levels here inside of the instructions at the OpenAI part of it or inside the Zapier prompt section with a little tweaks, we can get that to stop generating. But for the most part, I think this looks pretty good. You'll just be able to come in now and see all of your drafts here that have gone through your bot and you can just tweak them as necessary. So in this instance, I would delete that, read this over, make sure that it's giving the correct information, and then you can just click send. Awesome, so I hope you got something valuable out of this. Again, thanks for joining me on my mission of helping marketers and entrepreneurs understand AI. My goal is to provide you with comprehensive and practical AI skills that'll boost your profitability and business success. I've got a cheat sheet to this video that has all of those instructions and some further details about how to clean up your inbox. A lot of people struggle with things that are not even necessarily related to something AI can solve, but just different ways you can improve your inbox workflow. But I also have some coaching options available in my Patreon there. So if if you're looking to dive deeper and build out uh, service offerings or really get serious about this, please hit me up. I'd love to work with you in the various levels of coaching. And thanks a ton for watching. Feel free to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I'd love to hear what you're working on, what problems you have, and I'll see you on the next video.